US stock indices are a tad firmer in early trade today after what was a pretty bad session yesterday, just adding to September woes. Want to know more? Keep watching. Hello, I'm David and this is Trading Today. Yesterday we saw falls across all the major indices. The Dow was down 1.1%, the S&P down 1.5%, and the Nasdaq down 1.6%. That was the worst fall uh, for the Dow since March this year. And contributing to the Nasdaq's woes was a, uh, a fall in Amazon of 4% as the Federal Trade Commission is bringing charges against the co company, uh, accusing it of anti-competitive practices and of trying to establish even more so a monopoly uh, through its pricing structure. Now, overnight, or this morning in European terms, we heard from FOMC member Neil Kashkari. We will also be hearing from Jerome Powell later this week. But Neil Kashkari said two things of note. He said, first of all, the Federal Reserve surprised to see the resilience in the US economy given the aggressive uh, monetary policy, the aggressive rate tightening that we have seen since March last year. And he also is unsure whether the Federal Reserve will have to tighten or sorry, raise rates yet again uh, before year end. Of course, the Fed's in this peculiar position. Um, it's, it's raised rates. It's had to do this to choke off inflation. And so it's actually looking for evidence that the rates are not just working on inflation, but also pushing up um, unemployment as well, which of course also takes the pressure off inflation in terms of lower wage demands if the employment market isn't as tight as it has been. But there's no little, little evidence that that's happening at the moment. And of course, as we've heard, uh, Kashkari has noted that they are really uh, quite surprised at how resilient the economy has been. Uh, obviously, they are looking for signs that the economy is slowing down because then that would give them reason maybe to pull back on rate hikes and on the fact just looking at the strength of the US economy today durable goods for the US both uh, the headline and the core figure both figures came in higher than expected other news the uh, Hollywood writers strike is now off that's I'm sure great news for the streaming companies uh, apart from that we also uh, yeah the big news from Target the big box retailer that is closing nine major stores across the US citing the increases in crime and violence. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this of interest. If you did, please like and follow and best of luck with your trading. Goodbye.